Hi everybody, Phil Smy here. I'm gonna do, um, I hope, a series of little tutorials about using digital juicer things with Final Cut Pro X because I'm a digital juicer uh, subscriber, whatever you want to call it, and there's just not a lot of information about how to use this stuff with Final Cut Pro X. Um, so pretty much all of these uh, things that we see here for me I'm gonna start with the video editor store and maybe I'll make it through some of the different types of things in the video editor store and then move on and so on so today I'd like to start with revealers and I wasn't even totally clear it's not even um, it does this and it's like okay well great what does that mean so I'm gonna for an example I'm gonna use this one which is the uh, just because it was the first one on the list but I'm pretty sure you could do what I'm about to do with any of these um, some of these might be a little bit more uh, difficult but uh, hopefully um, you should be able to do it anyway so so I took this thing, I downloaded it using Juicer, the new Juicer, and I brought it into Final Cut Pro. And let me show you what I did with it at the end of it, okay? Uh, you don't need to see the inspector right now, and we don't need to see that right now. So this is the final thing. You can't hear the audio because I haven't figured out how to do that. Do I need this? No, it doesn't make any difference. So, yeah, I did this little title at the bottom. And so let's start from scratch and, and, and just see what I did there for that. So the first thing I did is I got my clip here. I have a region, and we'll drop that into the timeline. Nice. Uh, that is me. Nice. Uh, paused. <laughs> frame there please let's move that um and then it was like okay well here we have our our thing and what do i do with it so maybe around uh, this mark i'm gonna drop it in and say okay that's nice and for my benefit you can't hear it but i can hear it and i don't want to hear my own voice so and turn off the audio. Um, so we have this little effect here. Uh, just zooming in on the timeline a little bit. And you can see this is what it would look like if you just dropped it in straight from the juicer file. Nice. Kind of. So first thing for me is that we want to move it to the lower third so I'm gonna grab this baby and show this I think I dropped it down to around minus 223 or something like that we'll just do it like that obviously you can put it anywhere you could put it up here top right to do like a channel logo or whatever but just for the sake of consistency because I did it before I'm gonna put it at 223 so okay that's a little bit better um, we got the thing coming in there but so my first thought is okay well it's called a revealer um, so what am I revealing uh, you know it's I'm going to trim this down because we're not going to see too much of this. Um, so like you could see in my in my example, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to drop a title. And let's put a title in there. And just a basic title of my name. I thought, well, maybe 
it's like a you know um oops transition kind of thing and I have a start and a stop and in the basic title I'll put my name yeah it's a bit difficult because I'm recording the screen at the same time I'll do that and maybe my Phil's film links dot com website address okay nice and okay that is ne also needs to be transformed this is why knowingly the value comes in handy so we'll just do minus two two three and it should center up pretty much and okay so that's nice um, let's do it like that great so what do we got then if if we if we do that well you end up with something um, totally not like what I would have hoped because the blending and so on and, and that kind of looks like crap because it just you can tell that all of a sudden my name pops on the screen so how do you get these things to affect each other well first thing you probably want to move it on the top there and change the blend and how and I thought well for me changing the blend what happened we don't is uh, change this to uh, you know lighten or color dodge or something like that but what happens is it affects everything so what I discovered is this I can make a compound clip here and inside this clip then I can do something like that see it bring it's kind of revealing you don't even need to do this halfway come on you can do oops do this all the way let's go back and fix that live TV folks I'm gonna move this to here line these up join these new compound clip in the clip I'm just gonna go and quickly check my uh, blending mode that I used on the example just to make it look exactly the same stencil alpha okay so let's get this baby in there change this to stencil alpha and now we won't have anything and where it comes in on the alpha channel my title will get blended in and blended out cool we also only need that for the duration so you can chop that down only need it for the duration of the uh, the overlay great down to there come on 
Uh, okay, so now we have that overlay clip. And let's let that render. And you see we're a bit better. We have the title now like that. And what I found is that you could take this now and drop it in. And see the colors. Do the same kind of thing again. Show this. Minus two, two, three. And then finally, take another title, maybe about here. And I'm doing this with title, but you can do this with any, whoop, 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 any underlying graphic element. Um, you know, you could have better looking titles is what I'm trying to say. Now we can take all of this, including the first compound clip that we made, make another compound clip. And yes, I forgot to do something. This has to have a minus two, two, three. And of course, it has to be the same text. It's a, probably uh, a uh, graphic would be easier, but I couldn't be bothered to make one. Okay, so we go back, we have these two, and now let this render out. The final touch that we're going to need is to dissolve on this. Simple dissolve. God knows why it puts one at the beginning and the end. Um, we don't need to be quite so long. Let this render out. And there we go. Now we should have something that looks pretty much like my example. A bit of a flash there at the beginning. It's probably something in that second clip. But if we start here, just to go through what we're seeing, so we're seeing the underlying video, of course. We're seeing the beginning of the revealer from the first compound clip we made. No. The colors are coming from the second clip that we dropped in. The first clip, the alpha, is simply affecting this first text title. And the second text title, because it's in exactly the same position, appears to be revealed. Now we can move that as well if you don't if it's too too much. I just kind of set it at the what I figured was the maximum time, maximum brightness. But it, you know this kind of affecting as the title happens in the first compound clip. So we're doing the same kind of thing, dropping a title in halfway through. It's just this first clip gives us this illusion of affecting. Uh, of everything coming in in sync. So anyway, I, I hope that helps you. It helped me to make this, to understand how to use these revealers and using of the compound clips. Compound clips is obviously vital for this and something that works really well in Final Cut Pro X. So 
that's my first one of these. Forgive me if it's too long and there's too much waiting. And I'll try and do more of these, uh, maybe one a week or one every couple of weeks, and go through the rest of, of the juicer, um, juicer stuff, and give you some Final Cut Pro tutorials. Okay, my name's Phil Smy, and I do have a website called Phil's Film Links, and maybe we'll see you on there. Okay.